Hello, bros, I'm Uncle Joseph Exil, Bro5 Production, and Nick Pub, the Tura Magical Girls. And my webcam is moving by itself, I saw. So, start going right here, and we just jump in where we left off. A strange brown girl stands in front of the slime. Her outfit is. I've never seen anyone wear something like that before. Hot pink and showing off her boob shamelessly. In her hands, a bright colored wand twirls, twirls around. Sparkles and love heart seems to paint the very air as she wields it. For a moment I'm just stunned at the sight. So stunned that I forgot about the slime. It must have sensed danger as uh, it's trying to move away from her as fast as possible. Behold the power of love. <laughs> With this magical wand I will, really will erase all sadness and evil from this world. Be gone evil doer. From the tip of her wand, a huge flash of light erupts from it, blinding me for a moment. When I open them again, the only thing which I could describe as a pink laser blasts the slime. The sheer force of the beam she shears it in half, destroying any concision it might have had. In spite of the devastating attack, it's still trying to weakly slip away. Oh, it's still alive! It must be an especially wicked slime. Leave it to me. <laughs> it's then that someone else steps in. Alright, that picture came uh, in like after two minutes of recording, so we will continue. This time it's a red head. Her outfit is every bit of ridiculous as the blonde girls, which are uh, rainbows and showing off her body as much as possible. Her one seems to have a trail of rainbows. As they swings it around, the tip of her one seems to have a gigantic energy bar forming on its tip. It grows and grows until it's a massive humming ball. With my power I will erase evil from this world. Feel the unrelenting might of love and friendship. Love and friendship. Are the are the lost things that come uh, to mind when I see the wielding that one like some sort of energy hammer? I back off as she begins to charge for the slime. In spite of what happened before, I feel almost sorry for the damn thing. As uh, she brings the one down, the ball detonates into a gigantic sphere of light. Any trace of the slime is completely erased from the area. The two of them are still standing there and don't seem like they have noticed me. Maybe I should walk away before they know I'm here. Oh, there's someone here. <laughs> Hello. She waves enthusiastically at me. Oh, someone actually saw that. We will have to erase his memories. Sorry, but uh, could you stand still for a moment? Her wall begins to sh uh, charge up again. I'm not waiting around for this. Bolting down the hall, I move before she can use it. Hey, where are you going? He's running away. <laughs> Who wouldn't run away and say to erase their memory, uh, your memory? Seriously, don't trust anyone <coughs> that would say they would erase your memory. Because the slightest thing goes wrong and you don't have any memories at all. I'm, uh, I'm on break now. I have no idea what the hell uh, all that of that was about. Was that magic? That's the only thing that comes to mind. And what was she going to do to me? I send a shiver down my spine just to think about it. I'm not going to say that I'm a coward or anything, but there's no way in hell that I could put up a fight against those monsters. At least they cleaned up the, any trace of that slime. The manager would have let me... Uh, let me hear the end of it uh, if the floor were dirty. Don't get me wrong, they were hot, but I think there's a heap of craziness to go with it. Perhaps I will be best thing to forget about, about all of that. You look like you're thinking hard about something. 
If it's about us, you won't have to worry about that soon. You are quite the one, aren't you? Is that actually air ears? Or is that something else, I wonder? Get the hell away from me, you two. I scrambled to my feet and put my hands in front of me. Oh, there's no need to be like that. I saw what you two can do. I don't want <laughs> to happen to me. Then let just erase your memories peacefully. Now, now. This line uh, looked like it was fleeing from him. Now that you mention it. Whatever it is you two are involved in, I don't want anything to do with it. But if you can fight those evil creatures, then you have an obligation to join us. That is true. You seem to have a talent for it. Actually, those clothes are even crazier than any of the other security. I mean, they look like candy. Seriously, those clothes look like candy and that's uh, seriously weird. Seriously. No, I think that, uh, if, that if you're going to rope me into this, you at least owe me an explanation. What is there to explain? We destroy evil creature with, uh, with the power of love. Then death laser is supposed to be the power of love. What else would it be? <laughs> that face. But that slime. What's an evil creature which is why uh, the laser de <coughs> destroyed it? We must eliminate all evil from this world. You have nothing to fear from us if you do not conspire with evil. Any sane person would be afraid. I'm a bit of, ru of a rude guy, but there's no way in hell that I'm stupid enough to mess with these two. So how did you make the slime run from you? I threw hot water on it. That does not sound like a technique I have heard of before. That's because I don't have magical powers or anything like that. I got a hold of my arm and I just did anything I could to make it let go. Hmm. The truth is that you should not even be able to see that slime. That is also true. Perhaps we need to uh, take you somewhere we can properly assess your abilities. Please don't. I just work at this place and I really need a job. If money is problem, we can put you through our employer. Someone actually pays these two to run around and do this. Look, I can quit this job and help you vanquish evil or whatever it is that you do. There's no reason why you can't do both, is there? We're currently working in this area and we will need uh, help, all the help we can get. This is a very true, there's a lot of accumulated evil here. Unless we eliminate all sort of bad things could happen to the people here. Maybe even the end of the world. I'll just look at the both of them. Fine, as long as I doesn't interfere with my job. We will find a way to let you uh, juggle both, don't worry. You don't have to worry about a thing. I have a lot to worry about you too, you know. Come on, you're never going to get away anywhere with that sort of attitude. That's our attitude. Be positive. Don't tell me what to be. You got a bit of a defiant streak to you. I like it. <laughs> Whatever. So how much uh, of my time is it going to take? Not much. You will just have to clean up some uh, slimes and trim some vines. There's vines now. We will explain about those later. For well, now, we must return to our duties. Right, you go do that. What was your name, by the way? Now you're going to ask me that. Well, yes, I have to ask eventually. It would be awkward if we didn't know your name at this point. Tiachi. I'm Yuki. And I'm Hikari. We are both magical girls. Wherever there is evil, the two of us work together to undo it. The destruction of uh, sorrow is our creed. You told me that much already. It's fun to introduce myself that way. Are you always like this with your job? Not really. The manager is a pain but I have to put up with it. 
All I can do is uh, grit my teeth and say yes. I see. Well, we will not uh, keep you for much longer. Yep, I can only sense more evil gathering together just north of us. You must go and destroy it. Until next time, Teachi. We will be seeing you soon. <laughs> the two of them seemingly fly off in an instant, leaving a shadow of sparkles and floating love hearts in their wake. Don't just go and decide these things on your own. Maybe I should have just let them erase my memories. Then again, they said uh, I could see things uh, when I shouldn't be able to. So would they just run into the same problem again? And maybe having two jobs instead of one would be the way to go. The debt I owe my dad is getting isn't getting any smaller. After that nonsense, I finally got back to my normal job. Of course, the first thing that uh, stupid manager does is assign me to clean up the messiest room he could find. What the hell even happened in here before I got here? Whatever it was, I sure did leave a mess uh, everywhere. I attempted to just bleach the whole lot of it uh, to make sure that it's all disinfected. Damn it. Why are people so filthy? I can't help but complain by myself as I work. As much as I hate this work, it's helping to distract me from any thoughts of those magical girls. Those ones. There's no way that love could possibly be a massive pink laser of death, right? Or some kind of orb hammer of destruction. Either way, I have a feeling that my problems aren't going to end here. Oh, hey, Tachi. The manager bumbles into the room. Not a bad job. He looks around the room with those dull eyes of his. You missed a spot there, here. I see a small amount of dust on the tip of his finger. You have standards here. If you want to stay around, you're going to have to do a better job. I can just tell uh, this prick is enjoying every moment of mocking me like this. Yes, sir. I fixed uh, it right away. Good, we make a decent worker out of you yet. I would say, well, if you let me finish before you shake it, maybe it actually wouldn't be. Seriously, you can't let people treat you like shit just because they are uh, <coughs> a higher paying job than you. Seriously, if I get a job that people actually try to uh, <coughs> put <laughs> press me down just because I don't earn as much as this or I have a lesser standard in the job, I would not let them. I would tell them off every time. As he walks out of the room, I can't help but curse a little bit under my breath. When the last time that fat idiot did any hard work around here, all he does is walk around and see if employers are doing what they're supposed to. I bet I could do a better job at that. As I continue to think angry thoughts, I notice a pot plant in the corner of the room. Was that always there? I don't think I saw it when I walked in earlier. I run my fingers along the edge of the pot and notice how much of the dust has settled on it. Some of the soil uh, in the pot uh, got shaken out too. Now, who would be uh, dumb enough to put a pot plant in the hotel room? As I begin to clean up the mess, I hear a slight rustling from the plant. Wait a minute, what kind of plant is this anyway? It seems to have long vines draped across. A trail of the as the thought of the vines enters my head. The rustling begins to grow louder. I suddenly jump back from the pot. Vines burst out of the pot, snaking their way, way all over the room. They quickly find their way to me, binding my arms and preventing me from moving. Damn it! So this thing is some sort of accumulated evil. Yeah, I'm not the. Uh, it's not as strong as the slime, but I'm still struggling to pull back against it. On top of everything else, it's making a huge mess of the whole room. Get off me, you stupid plant. I can't see anything in the room which will help me against this pot plant. Oh, it looks like you're having some trouble. Need a little help with that overgrown daisy? Oh no, another weirdo about to appear. I'm fine, thanks. It certainly doesn't look like that. There's no shame in having a little help to get uh, something off, is there? 
It's then that I see the owner of the voice. Alright, she looks evil. But, let's save. Because we have read uh, long enough now. So that was all I have for Sakura Magical Girls this time then. So hit like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye!